And Bryson Hammer in our first pitch is laced on a line and a base hit, and McKenzie wastes no time getting on first base. He extends that hit uh, on base streak to 36 consecutive. So they've got the leadoff man on. 2-0, ripped hard to right field, back on it, Grady, and this is going to one-hop the wall. It'll be a double, as that throw comes in wide, Cody Colden has to slide and make that grab. If that gets past him, McKenzie scores easily, and Madron it's a fastball here from Hammer, and it's a pretty similar pitch to what McKenzie did. So he jumps all, all over a first pitch fastball, and then after Hammer falls behind 2-0. Oh. Yo, two, ripped up the middle. Will score two, and the Sooners are quickly out to a 2-0 lead. Now Harris going to try to take second, the throw coming in, and they got him at the bag. So the first out comes on D Dakota Harris trying to stretch a single into a double. Has struck for two early in the first. And 0-2 breaking ball. He tried to go with that slider. Had a lot of the plate, so Bryson Hammer not fooling very many people. and Not around 95. Trying to put Pettis away, the 1-2. Just hit weakly to spec. Long throw across, gets Pettis. It's the final Big 12 opponent of the year for DBU. Hammer goes in the, or the Spikerman goes into the air. This should be routine for Grady. And he makes the grab and that ends the inning. But two runs early and a half runs a ball game. Grady lifts it to left. Pettis in fair territory makes the catch and there's the first out to the play. Nicky had the big home run on Sunday that drew the Patriots to within a run. And here he goes into the air pretty deep to center field. Spikerman, though, will settle under it. Make that catch. Leaning towards right center field, and now there's two out. Payoff pitch to Humphreys, and he belts it pretty well to right field, but the park's going to hold it. Madrin there, and it's a 1-2-3 inning. All fly ball outs off the bats of Grady, Santos, and Humphrey. Jackson Nicholas to start off the second. He's hit by a pitch, so an inauspicious start for Bryson Hammer. Skip Johnson was able to turn things around, but it had been down for so long. Nice looking pitch there, nice changeup from Bryson Hammer that you were wondering. Are there going to be some drastic changes? Oklahoma, they're within striking distance. They're, they're tied for fifth, but only three and a half out as Hammer throws a wild one, and Nicholas gets to second. Had a brilliant start to this year. The 2-2. Two -two. The right side going to move the runner over. It's two out as Nicholas gets to third. Really three out of his first four outings were tremendous as the starter. Well, the wild pitch is going to score the run. So that one there in a squarely on hammer. He had the hit batter. 3-0 Oklahoma in the second inning. Fly ball to left and Pendergast. That wind kind of carrying it towards the line. Not a, a strong gust of wind tonight, but enough to, to blow it towards the line. And Alex makes the grab to end the inning. But and from the right, team leader in home runs with 13 and also in RBIs with 52. And he strokes that on the line to left. Pettis there makes the catch and it's three fly ball out. Or the four fly ball outs. Bounce back performance two for Atwood. His last outing. April the 18th against Oklahoma State. Here's another chance at a fly ball out. This in foul territory. Long run over and making the catch is Bryce Madrid here over this weekend. So Grant Jay has been thrust into action behind home plate. And he swings and misses at the slider that disappears. Six up, six down for Carson Atwood, the junior out of Ardmore, Oklahoma. Goes back to it and it's hit down the line for extra bases. Pendergast will have to play it off the wall, and McKenzie to second. The top of this order has been all over Bryson Hammer so far tonight. Well, this is a team that does a lot of their damage with patience at the plate, drawing walks. Pause right here for a moment. Playing at taps here at 7 o'clock at the DFW National Cemetery. One other start, it was against Baylor. We gave up four runs in two innings. This one to left, Alex Pendergast getting over. And he'll make the catch. You can see that ball tailing away from him. As Pendergast, this is his third game. That's because of that time off to qualify as the team leader. It's this one well and deep to center. Humphreys is going to have a play. 
McKenzie tags. There's two away. One in the second. Hammer at 2-2. Off the end of the bat and into left field. And another run's going to come in as Kendall Pettis with his 14th RBI just got enough of it to make it 4-0. See it here. Just up in the zone. That's above the belt and a pitch that Bryson would, would love to get back those on changeups. This ball's hit well to center. Humphreys has a beat on it. Puts a squeeze on it, and the inning is over. But Oklahoma scores again. So since that start, or since that outing out of the pin. Tom Poole puts a good swing onto this one. Deep center going back is Spiker. Man, it's off the wall. Patriots finally have a hit off of Carson Atwood, and it's a leadoff double for Tom Poole. Went to the JUCO World Series in both years at Kirkwood. There's a wild pitch. Kicks sharply off the backstop. The throw goes to third base, and Poole is there. EBU's first base runner at third. And he's going to get him home. Pendercast gets the job done on a ground ball to short. The fielder's choice cuts the lead down to three. Alex has been a, what, what is a trip to Omaha in the finals of the College World Series? Even though Speck gets that walk, even though the, the roster has changed, you lose some big bullets from the pitching. Not a huge strikeout guy, just 14 strikeouts. And there's ball four. So back-to-back -back free tickets. Brings Miguel Santos to the plate. Tying run on board. One away. And Miggy in the air to center, but it is right at Spikerman. And now he dropped the baseball. Are they saying that's on the, the train? I don't see any signal here. There sure wasn't. I never saw I, one. I still am, I would assume it's on the transfer, but no umpire has made any decision. Let's see right here. Let's see if Chris Booker is in this frame. I don't know that he caught that. See if we can tell right here. In slow motion, obviously. I, I think he did squeeze. That to me, that's on the yeah. transfer. Yeah, I think so. Well, wait, they're going to call Grady out. They're going to say it wasn't on the transfer, that the ball was dropped. And then that's that's just a miss by Chris that's Booker for Chris not no Three innings and give up the four runs on five hits. Bullenbacher's first pitch is popped up to left field. Jackson Nicholas is gone, and there's quickly one away. It was the uh, only strikeout for Bryson Hammer today as he sends this one right back up the middle as a hanging breaking ball. Get a runner to first base. The 0 2 hits it well, right center, long run for Humphreys. I don't think he's going to get there. That ball's off the base of the wall. They are going to wave the runner home. Colden may have a play. I don't think he realized it. A late throw, and he's safe, and then the throw gets away. It's 5-1 as Orduño goes over to third on the throw. Paco Garza-Gangora will single into left field. Oklahoma just finding holes right now. They're up 6-1. They've had an impressive two-strike approach. Watching here, will the runner be off at first? The answer is yes. The pitch has popped up into left center field. Plenty of room for Pendergast. He's got it two away. 35 respectively. One, two, strike three, a fastball at 92, and the inning's over to Nathan Humphreys. And there's a base hit into left. So DBU may be happy to see someone else on the mound. He went two for 15 in the four games. Another foul ball. This one is going to roll back into fair territory, and a tag applied. Nice play by Campbell to keep his head about him, but how odd that you saw two balls hit almost the exact same way. Campbell gets the swing and a miss for strike three as it's squeezed by Easton Carmichael. So a leadoff base. Times this year. There's 13. Leadoff man is on. And right after that. One, two's ripped by Pettis with a two strike approach. Just uh, continues to be impressive. Pettis stretches this to a double. There's a throwing error. And the miscues continue. This is the, the top fielding team in Conference USA, one of the better fielding teams in the country. And, and in there, you see that two-strike approach the other way by Pettis. Strong throw from Grady, and well, I think that one's on Cody. That, that's, a good, that's a good throw. 
Hawks out in front just dies. Tough play. Spikerman's got good speed. He legs it out. Yeah, that's a big part of their game as well. Coming in tonight, this will go down as the bunt single. And they're on the corners, nobody out. Still sitting here at 7-1. It's hit pretty well. Pendergast still going back, and he reaches up and makes that grab. How about that for a guy who's just playing left field for the first time in his career? <laughs> You're in the outfield at any level. Look at him, great job of knowing where he was at. The runner over to third base. Santos retires Carmichael. Close to 350. They can put up some runs. 2-2. Two, two. Strike called. I believe John Wolf said that he offered at him. That ends the inning. At OSU Club. Sam Kaye said that he went. A pool is struck out, but one. <laughs> Alex drills it deep into left field. Alex Pendergast has left the yard. His first home run as a Patriot. He made a dazzling catch in the top of the fifth, scaling the wall. This time he goes over the wall. It's a solo blast, and the Patriots are now down by six in the fifth. He's in the country, trending upwards, beginning to think about possible host, winning a Big 12, and Oklahoma comes in there and sweeps him. There's a swing and a miss on the changeup, and there's two out. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Chase Grady lifts it to left center field. Running for it is Pettis. He kind of took an awkward route there and makes, does make the grab. And that ends the inning. 18 RPI in the country. What do you know? Another two-strike hit that's into left field. Uh, this has been one of the most impressive approaches we've seen this year. 3-2. Oh, my. Close. Apparently because of his size. 5'8", 175. There's a line drive. Pats are going to get a gift. Can they turn three? Oh, my. They were maybe a, another step away from it. Baker at a ball and a strike. Hit pretty well. Long run. Humphreys tracking it to the wall and gone. Dakota Harris's sixth home run of the season. It is all Sooners tonight. Now 10-2 in the top of the sixth. But a bit of a letdown here on a Tuesday. Fourth home run given up by Alec Baker. Scored 10 to 2. Trouble. Big Baltimore chop. Nothing you can do on this one. Base hit for Pettis. Just knew immediately that that was not going to happen. Even if Baker's able to make that over the shoulder catch, he's got no chance. It's 10 to 2. It's all Sooners, but. Brown ball. That hit the runner, and that'll get, his, get you out of the inning. It's been a wild night. Chris Booker made the call. It's been a career year for, for Santos. Already several career highs. He got this one. It looks to be off the end of the bat. Pettis makes that catch. There's the first out. Return to the lineup three weeks ago. It's a chopper to short. Harris's throw high and safe is Humphreys. Dakota Harris, as you see another look at it, he stays back and then really takes his time. And I think by the time he realizes what's happening yeah. and how fast. Way. Humphreys got a pretty good lead. Ground ball weekly. Could be a pair. And they turn it over. 6 4 3, double play ball. Oklahoma has the air, but they come back and erase that with a twin killing. To the full. And a ground ball to second right at Santos. Routine play, and there is one away here in the seventh inning. And, uh, the reverse has been true in the two games thus far. 3-2 popped up right side of the diamond. Miguel Santos, been a busy man here in the seventh, two away. Two or three, that, even that's a pretty good number. Strike three on the slider, and a job well done by Reese Buter as he wins that nine-pitch battle straight at Eldell Mitchell Park. Payoff pitch, ball four, and the leadoff man is on for the Patriots here in the seventh inning. Let's bring in the third member of... They've just not been able to put it all together. Cam Fisher's one of the big power hitters in the country. Ground ball to second. They'll try to turn another double play. This time, 4-6-3, and they do. 
impressive. Here's strike three on the slider. Tom Poole is gone, so the leadoff walk erased on the double play ball, and Arson Pierce is able to code games left on the schedule. It's all at UTSA. Good looking breaking ball. Garza Gangora can't hold up. And a good start here for Cole Reeves, one away. Full count. Reeves looking to strike out back to back to begin the inning. Instead, he'll get a ground ball to second. Ball hit on the nose, but right at Miguel Santos, two away. 28. One for three with a double today. And he rolls over on this one. Miggy's got it. Solid inning to work from Cole Reeves. It's the strikeout and a couple of ground balls. And will stare down. And take a look at Alex Pendergast, who homered his last time up. And here he swings and hits one pretty well the other way, but right at Bryce Madron, where it was reviewed and turned out to be uh, an appeal, saying that he didn't tag as this ball's hit pretty well. And deep to right center field, John Spikerman's at the wall, and that one's going to get out of here. George Speck with his fifth home run of the season. And it's now 10 to three. Fastball, 90 miles per hour, middle in. Now Grady's gonna try. He'll go to right. Back to back. As Jace Grady leaves the yard for the eighth time this season, it's the third solo homer tonight. Now 10 to four. Two and two. That hit him. Santos gets plunked. So three straight have reached. It looked like Carmichael was arguing that that one helping him close out the Big 12 championship and then getting the ticket to Omaha is now Nathan Humphreys. That's deep to center. The third long ball of the eighth inning, and all of a sudden it's a four-run game. Are you starting to believe a little bit? Man, 0 for 3 with a double play today, and he's gone on three pitches. So Karsten comes in and sort of quells the crowd a little bit. Stays up. Looks like a straight change. Yeah. Here comes the 1 2 to Colden. Hit a home run. Down the line. That's going to be extra bases. Colden to second base. And it is the fourth extra base hit of the eighth inning. A 3-2 count to Grant Jay with first base open. Got him swinging on the slider. Impressive work by Karsten to put an in. See it coming. Rose's 1-2, there it is. Fastball up, and that is what we've seen. Rose's 0-2 in the air, but right at Humphreys. They had a position perfectly. Towards the right center field alleyway, he barely had to budge. And 11 saves this year. That's lined on a two-strike pitch. Spikerman continues this two-strike hit parade tonight. Just off the outside corner, down and away. College World Series team back in 1992. There's the double steal, a swing and a miss. Throw to third, nice scoop by Speck. Oh, they're going to send him back. We've seen that, that Grant Jay was interfered with by Easton Carmichael, true freshman from Prosper, because he waits here on a two-strike offering. And the throw back, they may have him. They got him at second base. Chris Booker punches out Spikerman at second. He's begging for a review here. We might have one. Everyone else is left. He may have an argument. Yeah. Bro. See when the hand touches the bag, you, you, you don't see for sure. I, my eyes would tell me he's safe. Make this determination, and they are going to call him safe. Back at the bag at second is the count. The runners go. Pitch high. Throw to third. And he's safe at the bag. That looked like he got the tag down. Maybe not. Right. Rose trying to put him away. The 3-2. Brady towards the line. In foul ground. Now comes back. It stays just foul, but he makes the catch. 87. Foul tip. Three strikeouts for Karsten now. Karsten at 94. Boy, this is impressive. Defense. Here's the 3-0 uh, to George. I think he's taking. And he's on. So the Pats 
have some life. Brady with two strikes, Speck at second, pats down four, the three, two. Lifted, shallow left center field, that is down. George around third, he's gonna score. And it's now a 10-7 ball game, Miggy's coming up. Karsten's 2-2, two, two. Oh, it's cold no. strike three. That looked to be well off the outside corner and it's strike three called. And that is how the ball game ends. A tough way to lose that one as the Pats fall by a score of 10 to seven tonight to Oklahoma.